hi this is candace here and i'm coming to you today because i want to get candid so let's get candid with candace so i just had a lot of stuff on my mind and yes i have friends that I call but i feel like i low-key don't want to they have their own issues you know what i mean so for me to call them and say what was me and have like a pity party even though i'm not that's one reason i don't want to call my friends the second reason is because it's just me venting like things that i don't get just i always wondered like this guy i watched on youtube he i watched him since i lived in new york i watched him since i had one kid that's how far i watched him he used to be like i don't care about this youtube stuff i just come over here to vent like i just come here to rant like yeah my therapy so with that being said i'm about to have a therapy session Okay, so I really don't want to be married anymore. That's what's on my mind. I don't want to be married anymore. And I have these four kids. And then I have this house. And then I have... Um, a ton of reasons. I want to get divorced. But he's not with it. So until I get the money up, I'm not going to make that. I'm not going to have that possible. I'm not going to make that happen. But even with that, it's like... We have these four kids, children, together. But the love between us has not been there for since since. You know? And I don't want to be married currently. But I'm in no position to have multiple sclerosis. And, like, I can't even really walk low-key. I can't even really walk. So it's like, realistically, uh, and then the thing is, like, he's not, like, cheating or beating me, or doing anything like that. But I don't want to be married to him because I'm sick. So even before I got sick, I had multiple scrolls before I got married, and it didn't flare up until 2011. That's the year I got married. Shocker, I'm yawning. But yeah, that's the that's the year I had my son too. So it's a combination of things probably why I got flared up. But I got fl my first, not my first flare, but my second really major, major flare in 2011. And, um, yeah. But, you know, even before then, I was just sitting here and I got a memory of back when I was dating my husband. Before I had all these, before I had four children, before we had the house and all this other stuff. And I had this memory of when I, I went over to his house and I was crying and he didn't do anything wrong. And I was crying. It was just like this feeling inside of me. I can't explain it. It was just like I was crying so bad. I cried for like hours. And he just sat there like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I, I'm, we, we, we shouldn't be together, but I want to. So now reflecting on it now, was that like my part of me knowing 
was that like my future self crying on my inner self and knowing that I was going to be here one day and knew that we weren't supposed to be married even though everybody and their mother, well not everybody and their mother, my family was like, no. Don't marry him. Don't marry him. Don't marry him. And I was in love with another man before I was married to my husband. And I wanted the the life that I have now with the four kids, the house, the stay-at-home mom and all that. I always wanted that. But the other guy didn't want that. So when my husband came along and he wanted that as well. And me and the other guy didn't work out because we didn't want the same things. I was like, huh, why not? You know? So when I met my husband and when I married him, it wasn't, it wasn't, I met my husband when I was 18, 19, and I married him when I was 27 or 28, 27, and it wasn't like um, a marriage, like get down on one knee. It was not like a ring, a proposal. It was a born basically. You want to get married? And I did. And two, I was in the church. I was saved. So I was under that be married and burn. Everybody telling me, get married, get married, get married. But everybody didn't want me to marry him. But they still were saying, you know, she married, then a burn, you know. That's not the end of it. That's what I don't believe in that mess. But anyway, so I get married to him. I have one kid by him. Then I have two kids. And then I said to myself, girl, obviously you keep having children about this man, you might as well put your heart wholeheartedly in it because my heart was halfway in it and then halfway over there, that way, over there somewhere. And I was like, oh, I had to talk to myself. I was like, you know what? You know, he's a good guy. This is what I'm telling myself because I didn't know my words. And, you know, he is a good guy. I'm not going to say that he's not, but he's just not the good guy for me. Like, when I, growing up, I always wanted to be married, and I always wanted mad kids. I wanted five, to be honest. And I always dreamed of, my father cooked. I just had uncles go to the laundry. My father went to the laundry. My father cleaned. When I was dating my husband, he had his own place, and he used to clean. And he used to always be like, oh, come over, I cook for you. Like, he used to cook for me. But once we got married, all of that stopped. Please go take a nap. No, go take a nap. So what you want to say sorry anyway. So, isn't when we got married, he did cook for me. Well, will you moved into the house? It was all me. I do all the cooking. I do all the cleaning. I never imagined being married to someone who went and cook and went and clean. Like I dreamt them getting like breakfast in bed and I just thought that's stuff that married people do. You know what I mean? I never imagined never going out. Like my husband hates to go out. It's like but I knew this and sis still had two more kids. So fast forward to today, right now, in my situation, I'm not physically in any condition to do anything by myself. 
because health wise. Excuse me. And then when it comes to like divorce and people leaving kids in the house, I see the effect that it had on me. Like I'm seeing how when my mom left my dad, all hell broke loose in our life. Like seriously, she left him. Two years later, he died. Then a whole bunch of other stuff. And she got a boyfriend. And uh, I just don't want to put my kids through that. So I came up. I was thinking to myself. I'm like, why can't we be married? Not be, not be married. Why can't we just be parents? We have these four kids that we both created together. That we both don't want to see traumatized and all the stuff that um b living in two different households would cons consist of why not is that crazy am i crazy i'm not trying to say he could be to himself and i'm be to myself we'll do whatever we just won't be together this marriage shit is bullshit my marriage is bullshit. My marriage is bullshit. Like, he doesn't do anything with me. Like, I don't get the point of it. I don't get the point of it. You know, like, when he first wanted to marry me and I have no kids, and have no kids, I weighed all the options. I'm like, you know, his, he, he did go to school to be an engineer. You are going to have, you are going to be taken care of. Like, I weighed my options that way. And boy, oh boy, it did not turn out that way. He did not. He graduated school with an engineering degree. But he, not, he did not become an engineer. He, it's just like, this is not the life I wanted for myself. Why should I be in it? Why should I? Why? Because society tells me so. Like, this, my marriage is straight bullshit. There's no anniversaries. I don't celebrate holidays anyway. But there's no... There's nothing. I just don't want to be married. I freaking hate being married. Like, am I crazy? Because I would rather him... I want to keep him on as a dad. But I don't want him as a husband. Am I crazy for, for thinking that? Oh, I'm drooling. Am I crazy for thinking that? Maybe I'm drooling because drooling these fries are sitting right here. Candy. Mukbang. These are fries my daughter left. No, am I crazy who thinking of? Um everybody's opinion is nice and everything. Excuse me. Everybody's opinion is nice and everything. But there's a reason why drug counselors used to be previous previous addicts. Because when you talk to patients, you have to relate. So like in my situation, I really don't want to really talk to anyone who's not going through my same thing. You're with somebody and you're married and you have property, but you don't. You have children. No, you're not, you're not in the same boat as me. If you don't have any property, no, you're not in the same boat as me. It just doesn't matter. Like, I don't want to get advice from anybody who 
hasn't been in my shoes, you know? And I have a grandmother, my mom's mom, she passed away, but she left her husband, but she was in good health, and nothing bad happened to them. Then my grandmother, my father's mom, he left his, she left his husband as well. But me, I have bad health, and I really need to get that taken care of. But in the meantime, in between time, this relationship, this bullshit-ass marriage is causing me so much stress. It's causing me so much stress, guys. I don't know what to do. Like, I want to do what I said do, but it's like he doesn't want to do that. And it's like, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. What? <laughs> it's funny to me. It's funny, like, you just want to be, have the title? Like, is that what you want? Because this is not a marriage. I'm so frustrated. I'm just wanting to be like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm laughing. It's part of, it's one of the things in my mess that I do. That I laugh when things aren't funny. What? This situation is so sad, it's funny to me. Like, I just don't get his logic. Pickle. I like pickles, but I like the sour pickles. I don't really like the liquor. Yeah, but I don't know. I just don't want to be married. And I feel bad because. This marriage that I've been in has scorned me for, I don't ever want to be married again. First of all, I'm never getting married while my kids are small, because I don't want to. But I don't want to be married to him. He could be the husband he is, not cooking, not cleaning, but he fix up everything. And he, hand, he he's really handy, but... I'm sick. Like, hello. I don't know. I wonder why they ain't their fries. Anyway. And I'm so naive because I listen to so much of him. It's going to get better. I'm going to be that husband. I'm going to do those things. I'm going to. And I continue to have a baby after baby and falling for the okie doke. And it's like, Negro, you're not going to do those things. That's not going to happen. So sis needs to just realize that. Oh no. Anywho, thanks for listening to me rant. Talk to you later. Bye.